Hi, I'm P. Mark Warwa in beautiful downtown Fort Langley at the Bedford Landing Plaza Grand Opening. And uh, what an incredible day to see what has become uh, and de developed here in Fort Langley. We're at the Bedford Channel, and I have with me uh, Les Antone. Think back, uh, Les, to 2004-2005 when we started meeting uh, with Kwantlen First Nation, and you're a counselor with Kwantlen First Nation. And uh, those meetings, we, we were dealing with Bedford Channel, and what were some of the challenges at that time in 2004 or 5? Well, um, what happened in 2004 and 5 with the um, with the way the Bedford Channel works? It was a it was um, accreting land, um, sand underneath was filling in. Um, we couldn't get our big boats in and out of the channel, our net sheds, and that's where we offload our fish when we're fishing in the summer, spring, summer, fall. Um, we were having great difficulty at low tide to get our boats in. Um, we got together with uh, then Kurt Alberts, uh, Mark himself, and um, GVRD and several other work, other groups in the area. We got talking about dredging and uh, DFO and GVRD were there also um, so we could get our permits in place and um, it was quite a journey from there to come to this, this beautiful plaza here and all the um, great work that Park Lane has done. And as a developer they surprised us at how open and um, honest they were about how how we could help them and how they could help us with our problem with the channel so it was a win-win situation for all um, including all those other stakeholders that were at the table and we met monthly and like mark said we we fed them really good um, yes, that's did. the way our elders teach us to set the table and then get into your work and it, it was a great working group i miss those days um, we have to start that up again once more so uh, Les, I do. I miss those days too when we meet <laughs> monthly. But not only do we have now a world-class rowing facility, and you can bring your fishing boats in here, um, but also uh, McMillan Island. You were losing uh, acres of land of the of your uh, land into the Fraser River. It was eroding, and part of that uh, redevelopment of the area was armoring the island so that your island is uh, is protected. Right, and when we put in the spurs after the engineering came through and we approved it as a whole, as a group, um, we put the, um, the spurs in, rock spurs, on the inside of the channel on the north side of McMillan Island um, facing Fort Langley. And it seemed to stop the erosion. It's helping to build up the land inside the spurs and also increasing the flow in the channel so that the sand doesn't deposit as much. It doesn't stay around. It doesn't build up. Um, but it is it's slowly accreting it'll it'll have to be done in another within a decade again and um, we are still losing at the head of the island at the eastern end of Macmillan Island um, we've lost over 18 hectares now I believe so um, there's still a problem there where we have to address that sooner than rather sooner than later so unless we have some more work uh, to do then and so we're gonna have some more meetings what a beautiful facility we have here I encourage you to visit Fort Langley beautiful Fort Langley and uh, enjoy uh, the hospitality of Kwantlen First Nation and the residents here at beautiful Fort Langley. And here comes our train, so we're going to sign off. Have a great day.